Hi guys! So I am doing a Q&A video for you today and I'm really excited. Um, I had actually made a post probably like a couple months ago now that I was going to do a Q&A and I just kind of forgot to do it because I am like always forgetting things and it's awful. But I'm here today because I remembered that I said this forever ago and I never did it. So I was like, okay, I have to do a Q&A now. A Q&A now. Okay, so I'm gonna just jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to do a lot more videos on this channel, just getting more active and let's get started. Question one. This one is from at sauna9871 and it says, did you always know you wanted to be a singer? Hashtag M's q and I didn't always know I wanted to be a singer. Uh, I started, the first time I ever like actually sang, I was in my car seat and I was like three and it was Blue by Leanne Rhymes. and my parents just kind of like looked back and was like, what the heck, like how did she know the words to this song? So that's kind of when it was like, oh, she like likes music, blah, blah, blah. And so I always like sang in the car and stuff with friends and then um, the actually like probably deciding moment where like I knew that this is what I wanted to do like for my rest for the rest of my life. Um, I was actually at a Taylor Swift concert and I was with my mom and my friend and her mom and we were just watching the concert and Taylor starts singing Long Live. I think this was like her fearless tour I want to say. So I was like 12 or 11 maybe but um so she starts playing this song and I just like start crying and my mom notices she's like what's wrong and I was like this is what I want to do for the rest of my life because everyone in like the arena was singing so loud like you honestly couldn't even hear Taylor and so it was just like one of those moments where it was like this is crazy like this is what I want to do okay question number two um I'm like reading these off my computer so if I ever look down like or away like that's why because I like have to like think but, um, okay, this one is from Sam underscore Reeves 7, and it says, when will your next album come out? Um, I'm hoping for, well, I'm not going to be doing an album, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an EP, it's smaller, it's, like, cheaper, and, um, I feel like it'll all, like, it'll be more, like, quality songs, and, like, all of them will be, like, amazing, and, um, I'm really, really excited for that. I'm hoping to get the EP out by like before the summer of next year I'm hoping so it just kind of depends on like how the end of this year goes with like releasing like a single and stuff like that so pretty exciting okay so the next question is from Tori Callahan and it says what was your favorite performance that you did on Idol this season um, my favorite performance that I did on Idol was probably um, the top, I think it was right before a top 24. Yeah, it was a top 48 performance and I sang So Small by Carrie Underwood and I will try to find a link to that video because I know Idol like takes down all their videos after like six months or something. So I'll try to find it online and I'll like link it. I'll like put it somewhere over here or over here. But um, I'll link that so you can watch it. But that was probably my favorite performance. I just loved it because it was like a live crowd and they were like absolutely like going insane and just so loud. It was like the most awesome thing ever. And um, I just felt really comfortable and I was really confident in the song that I was doing. And I've always actually wanted to do like a cover of So Small by Carrie Underwood, but I just never did. And then so on the show, um, that song came up and I was like, let's do it. So yeah, that was probably my favorite performance. Next question is from Chani Campbell, and it says, "If you were to get, to, if you were to get to tour with one famous artist, who would it be?" I would totally answer this with Kelsey Ballerini, just because I think she is like the sweetest person ever, and she's like so funny, and an amazing artist and songwriter, and I feel like she would just be like the funnest girl in person to tour with. It'd be so fun. It'd be so fun. So I would probably choose Kelsey. And she's actually about to go headline her own tour. And I want to buy tickets to it so bad. Um, so if you guys have not heard about that, it's called the first time tour. Make sure you get tickets. Okay, so the... I dropped the pick. So this next question 
is from at R G E E E E E E like a ton of E's. Um, and it says, if for some reason you had to quit singing, what career path would you be on right now? Okay, so a lot of people probably don't know this about me, but I like love like so many different things and like I have a ton of different things that I'm into, I guess. So if I wasn't doing music, I literally have a list of like things I would do if it failed because there's just so many other things that I like love that I'm interested in. Um, I love like, I don't know if this is like weird, but I watch Criminal Minds all the time and I was like, I always think I would love to have that job as like a behavioral analysis person. I feel like that'd be so cool. It's like, know the reason why and behind why people do things. So I feel like something with like criminology would be really cool. Um, that were to happen, then I'd probably do photography. Um, and one of like my life goals is to like do a shoot for like National Geographic and like go shoot like in nature or something. Um, just because I love like nature photography. So that and then after that, <laughs> I love to like bake and cook and stuff. So I always tell my mom, I was like, mom, like even if I make it in music or even if I don't, I want to open up like a little like breakfast like bakery type shop like in Nashville. So yeah, that's probably what I would be doing. I think I think those are my top three. Yeah, it's like criminology, photography, and cooking. So yeah. Or it'd be really cool to be like a radio like broadcaster or something. I've been told before I have a good radio voice. So I was like, yes. Okay. So there you go. That was a really long answer, but yeah. Okay. Okay. So this question is from underscore Sam is my hero. And it says, which season of Idol did you like being on more? Um... I personally would probably have to say I liked being on um, season 15, the most recent season, the farewell season, more. Um, I feel like, also, I liked it more because I made it farther than I did, <laughs> but that and, I don't know, I just really liked it because I got to meet like more like people, like I'm still friends with like, I still talk to Lovey from last season and Chandler and I loved like my group round and I love my group round last season too but I felt like last season like I didn't know the song at all so it was like harder for me I guess but this season like we knew the song and like we got to dress up and we um, we did Grease, a Grease song, You're the One That I Want and so I just thought the season was just like probably a lot more fun because I wasn't as stressed because I kind of knew like kind of what to expect so I feel like it was a lot more relaxed personally so I would probably I would say this season okay this last question is from at taffy girl 04 and it says what do you do before you go on stage so before I go on stage I usually okay so for example like at like my regular Saturday night gig which is Lynn Burgers in Wellington I get done setting up and then I sit down I order like food and then I get a water with no ice hot water with honey and then I bring my own tea and then I drink my water with no ice to cool down but without the ice so it doesn't like constrict like my vocal cords and then I eat and then right before I go on stage I drink pretty much like all of my hot tea so then it just like soothes my throat before I go on stage so that's pretty much what I do like almost every single time I go on stage is I have throat coat tea and I do my warm-ups usually like two hours or so before I go on stage. So yeah, that is all the questions that I have for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. I was laughing because I kept like fumbling over my words. Please keep the questions coming. I love to do these types of videos. I'm really trying to get more videos like this out to you guys where I can just be like sitting down and talking to you. Hopefully soon my background will be changing because I got this so cool. Of like I got this like wooden door when I was in Nashville last actually I was in it was in Thompson station that I got it it was from this antique store and I love going to antique stores because you find like the cutest things ever I actually got I'm not gonna grab it because I'm gonna like rip everything off of my wall I'm gonna like turn it sideways and use it as a headboard so then my bed's gonna be like laying up against the wall instead of like coming out like this so I'm really excited so that'll probably be my new background and I'll add like little lights and like 
cute wall stuff so I'm so excited thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I am gonna be getting so many more videos out to you now and I'm so happy about it so I hope you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up I'm sorry if this was so long I just am such a talker and especially when you ask me questions I can just go on and on and on but I hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up share it yeah so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon